75% of serum is made of immunoglobulin G. This is my sixth lecture on the quadrant model. I'm talking about biology now. So immunoglobulin G is a tetramer. Tetra means four. Uh, immunoglobulin G is made up of four peptide chains. Uh, there are four IgG subclasses. Blood is made up of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin has four subunits in a tetrahedral arrangement. Tetra is four, you see how it's a quadrant. There are four main components of blood, white blood cells, red blood cells, that's a duality, plasma, and then platelets, the transcendent fourth. Voltage-gated potassium channels are tetramers with four units. Tetra is four. So here's the four units of voltage-gated potassium channels. So if you notice, each of the units has six subunits to it. So there's four of them, but each one has six. But you see the four is already dominant, so another number will presents itself, the six. But the four already expresses its dominance. The thylakoid is the site of light-dependent photosynthesis in plants. There are four protein complexes in the thylakoid. Photosystem 1, photosystem 2, that's the duality. Cytochrome B6F complex and ATP synthase. A three plus one. There are four types of hormones in vertebrates. Steroid, eicosanoid, amino acid, and peptide. There are four types of tissue. I took a biology class at UCSD. During the class, a biology professor said there could have been three or five types of tissue, but we do not know why there is four. The reason why there is four is because the quadrant pattern is the basis of reality. So there's four types of tissue, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous. Nervous is a transcendent fourth. There are four classes of macromolecules. Originally there were thought to be three, but the fourth transcendent nucleic acid was added later. Carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. See, the proteins are the doers. The lipids are the structure of the homeostasis. That's a second square. Nucleic acids is a transcendent fourth one. So gy gymnosperms are seed-bearing plants. There are four classes of gymnosperms. Mount Everest has four camps. The tetrapharmacos is an Epicurean four-part remedy. The four parts are don't fear God, don't worry about death, what is good is easy to get, what is terrible is easy to endure. There are 40 Epicurean principal doctrines. Again, there is a repetition of four. <clears throat> I watched a documentary on germs. The documentary discusses Koch's four postulates. So these are, there's four postulates uh, that Koch presented. The four postulates were the foundation of germ theory. There are four stages of typhoid fever. There are four stages of syphilis, primary, secondary, late, and tertiary. There are four bacterial species in the genus Chlamydia. The fourth is different. There are originally thought to be three. There are four species of Plasmodium that cause malaria. Hepatitis B is a type of hepatitis that is transmitted through sex. There are four serotypes of hepatitis B. There are four groups of HIV-1. They are represented by the four colors here. There are four branches where cross-species transmission of HIV from animals to humans occurred. Here's the four lineages of HIV, M, N, O, and then P. The fourth P lineage is seen as different. Gould <clears throat> divided Darwin's finches into four subgroups. Darwin's famous picture of the four finches in quadrant formation is shown below. <clears throat> Originally, Darwin distinguished three groups of animals, but later he added the transcendent fourth.
Here's the picture. Originally there were three groups, but then he added a fourth. Darwin originally proposed four branches of an animals branches. Later he added the transcendent fourth. The picture is this pic this the picture below is very famous. Presenting the four branches. At the top he wrote, I think. It is said that Darwin was influenced by von Barr's idea of four archetypes of animals. Drosophilia. So, because of the car's beeping right now, I'm going to just stop right now and then I'll finish later, hopefully.